I've had really an interest in ships my whole life. And when I was 14, I saw a tugboat dock at Fells Point, and I was just really struck by the size and power of the vessel. And, um, you know, that really, really intrigued me, caught my interest on just, you know, working on something that was just that, that big and powerful. As I was drawing the ships, I had put together a portfolio, and so I looked in the magazines and got the addresses of some of the um, naval architecture firms and shipyards, and I was like maybe 18, 19 at the time, and uh, one called me in for an interview, and it was M. Rosenblatt and Son, who at that time were the lead naval architects for the uh, DD-963 Spruance class destroyers. So they hired me, and I was working on the CVV, which is a conventional powered aircraft carrier. So the, so the, the challenge for me to um, encourage minorities and females to have an interest in STEM and also the positive role models of, of female and minorities that have made, you know, contributions to STEM. That, that's really how it started. What, what I've learned is, number one, building a ship out of Legos is exactly how uh, modern warships are designed and built today. When I was um, one of the lead designers on the Arleigh Burke class, the units went together into modules. And when they were all finished, they would literally join together. So that's a lot like working with Legos. So it's not just STEM, but it's taking STEM a step further to relate it to the individual. You know, for little girls and little boys to say, I can be an admiral when I grow up. You know, I can be a general, I can be a pilot, you know. So, you know, it's not just about the formulas and it's not just about experiments in the lab but it's really getting kids to believe in themselves, they themselves, right where they are, you know, that, that they can do it. And seeing the biographies of other people who started where they are, you know, is, 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 is an incredible thing.